afternoon. Where am I looking? <laughs> just I look can't at, see. Just look at yourself. <laughs> So welcome to our video. We're doing a Q&A video because we have been married three years today. Yes. Yes. <coughs> and I'm so excited about it. Um, we just chilled most of the day, but I put on Instagram and asked people for some questions for our Q&A. We have two kids. Yeah, that's crazy. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Basically the answer is we honestly have to try. If we don't put forth the effort, then I feel like it falls by the wayside. If you're feeling like you're not getting enough dates and you're, uh, um, you're not going on dates, then you need to be the one to start that and push for that and just communicate. Mm, the biggest thing is to communicate because it could be like one, you're on different, different points. One of your things like, monthly dates are fine, whereas one of you wants weekly dates, so you gotta make sure you're on the same page. Right, or, well, we watched a movie and had ice cream last night, wasn't that date yeah. night? <laughs> and I feel like that's something, um, we did a lot when we were engaged, is we hung out a lot. Mm -hmm. We hung out a lot, and hanging out is not a date. <laughs> so, really set aside time, and I would honestly start with going out for dates before you say we're doing a date night in, right? A date night in is only special if you have date nights out. It's true. <laughs> Super funny <laughs> because just the other day, apparently I said something different than I said when we first got married. When we first got married, we were like four or five, maybe six. And yesterday I was just like, we have to have six kids at least. At least. <laughs> Which honestly, I don't really, I don't know. I just think it would be so fun to have lots of different little kids. And I feel like now that we have two, that I'm like, okay, we can do multiples. We can do <laughs> more than one. So we're on the right track. And I understand like, it's not, holy heck, it's not as easy as that. But I think it would be, I think it would be fun. And I think party. We could, yeah, like you were saying that- We could have our own basketball team. That's not what he was saying, but we, <laughs> But I feel like I've gotten a lot more confident in my ability to lose the baby weight and to manage my kids and I'm growing as a mom. So for me, I feel a lot more confident in being able to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important. You're so awesome. You're so supportive. Since we've been married or since before we were married? Ever. My date, favorite date ever. With me. With, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a given. <laughs> There's two that come to mind and they're actually polar opposites. So the first one is when we were first dating. The first one that came to mind is when we, it was kind of like a groupish date thing. So we went hiking and then we went back and we played um, Messy Twister with paint. And then we went and rinsed off. At a splash pad. At a splash pad. In a shower together. What's your what was your favorite date? I actually really enjoyed this little ass one we went on with ice skating. Oh. Like the spontaneous just ice skating. That was fun. That was pretty elaborate. You went through a lot of effort for that. It was a lot of fun. It's my second fun date is we just like we went and found um, an ice cream place. Like in St. George. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. We that just was fun. went and found. We just went on a drive. Nice place. There was a lot that? of like temporary moving around, trying to find something that fit, something that was in our budget. It was, just it was a, a lot mess. of fun. Yeah. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was not fun. It was a mess. It was a fun mess. Well, Thatcher, Anchorage, Rexburg, St. George. I lived in St. George, and that was really fun. And then. From there we went, we were in Thatcher again. Then we drove to Iowa and we lived in Davenport for a year, which almost a year. It was like just shy of a year. And that's probably the place we've stayed the absolute longest. There were good reasons behind it. And it was always like divinely directed. So we've lived like what, five, six places now? Yeah, cause we're here Thatcher, in Provo Anchorage, now. Rexburg, St. George, Iowa. And Popo. So a lot of places. We've lived a lot of places. 
Couples table topics. Inside you can't see. <laughs> My first thought is I want to go to Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> Knew it. Called it. <laughs> But I don't know if that's in the plans for next year. Go to the beach, horseback riding, and working out together. Do it for like a month, cause by then like my ghost self would be able to be like, keep me alive. No, but like, like in the movies. movies. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, the hardest part is like, coordinating schedules or like having to work with someone else's schedule like on a regular basis like I feel like before it was easy to like like okay you want to do this okay I can put that in my schedule and it's like a one-time thing but like having to consistently think about someone else's schedule and what they want to do and accomplish and like give time that you can dedicate to them accomplishing their goals was something that was um, an interesting transition for me was hard to do at first. Right. And I, I, I think I remember those growing pains. I think we could be better at communicating when we're running late and we're running behind. Because I feel like that's kind of been a thing throughout our entire marriage. Um, that I don't communicate that or you don't communicate that. Um, or I don't communicate well what I want to do and then I get frustrated. What would the hardest part for me be? Maybe, this might not be particularly exactly like just marriage, but like family life in general, like trying to do things that you enjoyed doing before. Yeah. To a serious relationship. So I feel like kids. that would play into this other question, which is um, plant like. I now have to take care of them. I have to think about them so I don't get as much time to do what I want to do. So I have to be very purposeful and say, this is what I'm doing and when. It's been a fun journey, trying to figure that out, trying to work together on those things. Well, last question, you pick. Well, I think we'll do a couple more questions. Sit back by me. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. Don't knock down the tripod. <laughs> I think spontaneous things like that are my favorite. I just like being married to my best friend. They can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I enjoy, I enjoy just like the journey and going through life with somebody else. Not being alone and working through things together and always having somebody to turn to. You know, and even when things aren't perfect, because I think the hardest part of marriage for me, going back to that question, was um, recognizing when I was causing a problem. Like not just putting all of it on you. What was really huge for me is recognizing how much of how much of my frustration was actually being caused by me and what I could do to change that and that's been the hardest thing is just been um, the self-control and like the self-management that comes from being married but the best part really is also just having you to bounce ideas off of and having that person who loves me and like despite of everything despite literally everything yeah, despite me being me. <laughs> now, I've, I've just loved adventuring. Oh, I love adventuring. It's so much fun. And I love like viewing life as an adventure like that. You I know? do too. I think it's really important. That way when hard times come, like it doesn't feel like the end of the world. It feels like another part of the world. Mm -hmm. A wise man once told me, instead of saying, have a good day, he would say, make a great day. And it was something that really printed on me. It's like, every day is yours to, to make a great day, to make memorable and worth it. I feel like St. George was a place where we 
did that, where we took advantage of the time that we had. Because we didn't know when that was going to stop. And so it was every day we were pushing through with a purpose. Yeah. And I think that's a good takeaway. We really, and that was, I don't know, our second year of marriage? Yeah. Somewhere in there, like in the middle of it, so we, or a year and a half more. It's mm -hmm. about the time that we were in there. Um, and I feel like we've grown a lot. And I think that's something that we try to make a point of doing is growing individually and growing together and trying to communicate that and lifting each other up in our goals and supporting each other when we're struggling and apologizing a lot. I think that's probably the biggest thing I've learned along with like the hardest thing of marriage, like my part of that, is that always apologize. You have to let go of your pride when you're married. You have to really think about the other person a lot more and realize that sometimes we're being a little bit selfish. Um, so I try to apologize as quickly and as much as I can because I know a lot of things I cause problems or I prolong things. And really, I, I, we have to be careful about not hurting the people we love most. I feel like we feel too safe sometimes in being able to lash out at the people we love. Do you have anything to add before we go? Any wisdom for newlyweds? Have fun at every stage. No matter where you're at or like how small the apartment is that you're living in or how small your food budget might be. Really, just find joy every single day and find reasons to love each other and find reasons like say sorry and just find joy. Just, and like the hard times happen. Leaving Iowa was really, really hard. It, we fought a lot. We, it was really difficult to see I die. And um, at that point, we were going, I don't know how to deal with this because we've never ever had a fight this big. And so we sought a mediator. Um, we, we talked to a church leader and had him help us. He had more experience in this area, not that he fought a lot with his wife, but that he's had a lot of years of marriage underneath of him. And he talked about how marriages work and you have to make choices to work together. And I, it was just, it was really great because any marriage can work and you can get through anything as long as you both are trying. And that was hard, <laughs> but marriage is great and kids are great. I think we need to go because Devin needs to, needs to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Let's you. Let's go eat dinner. Yes. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mwah. Happy anniversary, Papa. All right, well, I will definitely be trimming this video down because it's currently 41 minutes long. Hopefully it's significantly shorter by the time you guys see it, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found something to laugh at and you learned something. And I would love to hear um, some of the things that you've learned in your marriage or things that your parents told you and just throw them in the comments below. Bye.